Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we've got something a little bit pricey. Now, I don't usually cover stuff like this. I'm uh, kind of guilty of covering stuff that everyone can afford and that everyone can drink. I like things that in the UK are less than 50 pounds. That's kind of my general price point. Don't like to push much higher than that, but when you get the opportunity to taste something special, why not? So full disclaimer at the start, I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say this is a full review. I've, uh, I have tried this just about, but this is just my first impressions on something that uh, is very premium. This is the Glen Murray Mastery. This was given to me as part of a little sample set by uh, a whiskey friend of mine called Gus, part of the Birmingham Whiskey Club. He gave me several drams, which I have brought to you guys uh, and will again as well. But this one here, when he handed it to me, I had heard of the Mastery and sort of gave him a little, ooh, that's, but I had no idea how expensive this thing was. A bottle of this, which I think you can still get actually, because there was a thousand bottles made, but it is expensive. It's over 800 pounds UK. The moment I think I saw it for 823 on maybe Master of Malt or something like that, it's free delivery though. It's crazy money, it's crazy money. It was released at that price as well, so 2017. I'm gonna go out and initially say I don't obviously recommend anybody spend that sort of money on it. You know, if, if you happen to be a millionaire and you're watching these videos, then by all means spend your money on it, but if if, if you're not really into spending that sort of cash, I can't possibly recommend you do, no matter how good or not this is. This is a, a special bottling that was produced for their 120 year, and by that I mean the Glen Murray Distillery, 120 years of operation. This was put together from five different vintages by Graham Cool. Now this is a whopping 52.8 percenter. So I did leave this sat out in the glass for a little bit, I've no idea of the age statements. You know, the, the fact that they're, they're five different vintages says to me that it's probably aged stuff. It, so technically, it's a, a no age statement, but it's a bit of a strange one. Before I get to the nose, sorry, um, a bit of a strange one because Glen Murray usually fill this kind of gap of well priced, low priced, in fact, but well priced bottles that I can get almost anywhere, any supermarket. In fact, I've covered some fairly recently. And uh, so this is a bit of a bit of a step in a different direction for them. Let's finally get to the nose and see where we're at. Now my initial assessment of it was that I kind of get this kind of musty musty oak from it. It's been sat around for a little bit now, and it's kind of unveiling itself a touch. And for me, I'm getting this kind of um, like raisins but also a sweetness um, akin to kind of syrup, like maple syrup, that kind of, kind of smell. It's really quite lovely. It's, it, it's so deep and complex, and if I, if I wasn't doing a video on it, I think I would probably sit with this for maybe a few hours. Just absolutely fantastic. Let's try some. Mmm. Mm, it's so thick and viscous. It's kind of warming and sweet. Mm, just fabulous. More of them kind of raisins and the syrupy flavours I talked about on the nose. That definitely translates across. But you're also getting this oak influence. I suppose that does come from the kind of musty oak that I was getting in the nose. But yeah, definitely getting a bit of oak influence and those kind of tannins, those thick, thick oily notes that you get sometimes. This would almost definitely suit some water, I would say. And if I had more than the dram of it I had, I think I would experiment with water, but I don't, uh, don't want to waste that by getting it wrong, you know? Mm. Yeah, absolutely stunning dram. But as I said, 800 pounds is, is vastly over my general spending. I have bought cars for less than that, so a single bottle of whiskey that uh, will only last me so long. It just isn't on the card, so I can't possibly recommend it. But it's it is it is fantastic. If you ever get the chance to try it in a bar or something like that, maybe I definitely give it a go. Maybe they've even got some up at the uh, Glen Murray Distillery. So if you do happen to go up there, maybe try and get a swig of it when you're there.
Thanks for watching this quick video and thanks to Gus for letting me try some of this uh, very expensive whiskey. Don't forget to subscribe for more and of course watch more videos just like this.